everyone, so welcome back. Today I'm going to be looking at the 2022 early booking offer for Walt Disney World for the 50th anniversary package uh, for select stays in, in 2022. So I'm going to be looking at the dining credit in particular and to see what the value um, is like for a couple of two to see how far that money will get you, including if you had desserts at some meals, alcohol at some meals, and if you ate at table service and quick service um, restaurants, what the value is basically. Basically. I'm going to have a look at that and include the tax, include the tips so we can actually see how far the offer will get you. Hopefully you'll find this video useful and um, if you do like it please make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I don't normally say that but yeah it would be great um, if you could do and hopefully you'll find this video useful. I really enjoyed looking um, into all of this to see how good value the offer is. It's obviously the dining plan isn't going ahead at the moment and we had a great time on the dining plan in November 2019. Um, you can check those vlogs out if you're interested. I also did a video on the Disney dining plan if you're interested in that. Um, but obviously as that's not around at the moment, this is the next uh, best thing. Um, so let's get started into the video looking at how good of value this is for a couple of two um, and we'll have a look at that now. So the actual offer is up to $950 Disney dining credit, uh, Disney park tickets 14 days for the price of seven and I'm actually looking at attractiontickets.com, uh, I'm just on their website and they actually have $250 Disney spending money as well in their offer um, so that's what I'm going to be basing um, it on today. Um, I've looked at it and looked at the offer and I'm thinking I'll pop on screen the offer now of all the hotels because depending on if you're staying at a value moderate or deluxe hotel will depend on how much Disney dining credit you get a night. So I've based mine on staying 10 nights at Wilderness Lodge which actually gets $68 per night. And remember it's per night not per day of your trip so um, we'll stay 10 nights but obviously we'll be checking out on the 11th day. So it'll be $68 per night which is $680 of Disney dining credit that we've got. I say we've got, we've not got that as we've not booked anything but um, if we were to stay on site during that time um, that is what we, we would have, we would have $680. The reason why I've done it on a 10 night stay and not a 14 night stay is because what we would most likely do if we were to take up this offer is stay 10 nights on Disney property and you know use the Disney dining credit and the Disney spending money um, but then we'd actually move over to Universal Hotel and that's just the way we would probably do it uh, the next time we go hopefully fingers crossed. I actually found a document online which outlined which um, Disney restaurants were included in this offer that would accept the Disney Good Dining credit and from what I saw it looked like most restaurants were. I can't, I couldn't pinpoint any that weren't so it's, um, just check that online. I can't remember where I found it but if I can remember I'll pop it in the link in the description uh, below. Um, but yeah I had a look at that and the restaurants that I want, would want to go to, that we'd want to go to are on the list so yeah. So in regards to how I've managed to get the prices of the food and everything, I just went on the Walt Disney World website and looked at the price of the food and drinks um, and I've added that together and based um, the amount that um, we would spend on food on that. I've also used um, worked out the tax as well. Um, the tax in Orlando I think is 6.5% so I have gone by that as well um, and at the end I'll tell you the total price of food including tips and then the total price of food including tips and tax so that'll be the price um, that we would be paying so hopefully I'll be able to outline that but to start off what I'm going to do is just go through um, the 10 nights the kind of stuff we'd be eating and the prices we would be paying. Right let's get started so um, I've just picked some random dates for next year that are included in the offer and like I said it would be 10 nights staying at Wilderness Lodge. So um, the first day I've put we'll be flying most of the day and the last time we went to Orlando our flight was delayed and we didn't get there till quite late at night um, but even if we got there a little bit earlier we'd probably still only eat at the quick service at the resort so um, I've put down that we would eat at the quick service at Wilderness Lodge and probably just have burgers so I put down for myself um, a cheeseburger and I put down for my partner a bacon cheeseburger. I also said that we would buy a refillable mug. Um, I haven't included that in the total when paying for food because we would probably just pay out of pocket for the refillable mug and we'd only get one of those um, rather than rather than getting two. But so we just have that 
um, that night. So the oh, sorry, the cost of the food would be twenty four dollars and ninety eight cents. So that's without tax. Like I said, I will include the prices with tax at the end with tax. So the next day we'll probably be up bright and early um, and hopefully go to Cape May Cafe. Um, online it said that the price for the breakfast was $25. Um, I thought it was more than that when we last went so if that's incorrect someone please uh, let me know in the comments but I thought that seemed cheaper than when we went before. Uh, I'm not sure why. So we'd both have fill up on breakfast at Cape May Cafe. And I forgot to say, but I would include the tip in Cape, Math Cape May Cafe as $15. I then put that in Hollywood Studios. We would probably go to Hollywood Scoops uh, and get some sundaes. So I put down the ice cream sundae uh, for $6.29 for my partner. And then the brownie sundae for me um, at $6.79 as I had that last time. And it was, yeah, it was really, really nice. Quite filling as well. And then I've also put down that we would go to Starbucks and both have probably a refresher. Um, I absolutely love the strawberry, I think it's, I think you say like acai, acai, acai drink. The strawberry acai drink, the refresher is my favourite. I absolutely love it. Um, and we both have one of those and they were $4.49 each. And then for dinner, we would go to Blaze Pizza and make our own pizza for $10.45 each. And then we would also have a drink from Love Fountain Drink for three dollars fifty each as well so that total with the breakfast the ice creams for lunch and the pizza at the night time and the starbucks is hundred and eleven dollars forty six total that's that's like the first full day bear in mind we have six hundred and eighty for the ten nights the next day we would go to magic kingdom and go and have some mickey waffles at Sleepy Hollow so we'd get the Mickey waffle each with strawberries and powdered sugar they're quite big and filling so I thought that would fill us for a while um, and those are $6.79 each remember that's excluding tax then for lunch we might want to get a bit of aircon so I put down that we would go to the plaza restaurant which we've never been to before and it's kind of hidden actually uh, but would quite like to go there I put down that we would have the loaded fries and maybe a salad so the loaded fries would be $12.50 and the salad would be $9 I also put that we would share a brownie sundae because we most likely probably would do um, for $8 it didn't mention about soft drinks on the menu, it just said that they were refillable, so it didn't say a price, so I haven't included a price for that one. And then for dinner, after having a long day in the park, we'd probably go to uh, Pecos Bill, I always call it the other way around, um, I don't know if anyone else does that, but we would have the, I would have the Taco Trio for $11.99 and I asked my partner and he said he would probably have the beef nachos for $10.99 and then a $3.99 drink he would have. I quite like having an iced water in the parks and I'll take those um, Robinson squash, um, squirted squash things that you can just put in the water and that's fine with me. I don't like fizzy so um, I'm happy to just have ice water when we're at the quick services. Occasionally I'll have maybe a Powerade or something if I need a bit of energy but usually I will have an ice water so I guess that's a way of saving money as well. Um, and the total for that day would be $76.05. The next morning I put that we'd have a rest morning, maybe head to the boardwalk or go play some mini golf. So we'd have a breakfast bar in the room. So what we'd do is probably buy some from Walmart when we um, got to Orlando or take some breakfast bars with us to have in the room because you don't always want three massive meals a day. So that's what we would plan to do we would after mini golf probably head to the boardwalk bakery for a grilled cheese sandwich for $9.99 and a Caesar salad uh, a chicken Caesar salad for $11.79 for lunch just something a little bit lighter but still filling and then in the night time I've put down that we would head to Disney Springs to T-Rex restaurant we loved visiting there last time it was one of our favorite uh, meals of the trip and um, my partner wanted what he had last time the boneyard buffet for $30.99 and I put the meso bones, which was like ribs, and that's for $27.99. We both had, we kept calling them pina colavas because I think they're called that in, a, in some place on Disney, um, but they were actually called the lava flow at T-Rex, so we would both have a lava flow, which would be a cocktail, and they were $12 each. And then we would include the tip for $16. So the total for that day would be $120.76. 
next day we'll head off to Animal Kingdom. So we'll check out the um, quick service again in Wilderness Lodge. Um, I had a look at the menu and I'd probably have a chocolate croissant for $3.99 and my partner would have a bagel with cream cheese for $3.49. At lunch, just fancy something different, so we'd head to Yak and Yeti and have some honey chicken for $12.99 each. So we'd both have that and then get one fountain drink for $3.99 and I'd probably again have a nice water. And then for dinner, if we are still in Animal Kingdom, which we probably will, uh, would be we would ha go over to a flame tree barbecue their portions were really big if I remember rightly um, and I would have the pulled pork mac and cheese I had that last time really fill in really nice and that was $11.99 and then my partner would have the smoked pulled pork sandwich for $10.99 and again get another $3.99 drink as well and that would be dinner sorted Whilst we're in Animal Kingdom, I imagine, because Animal Kingdom is always boiling, we would want one of the soft serve waffle cones, and they have them near the back of the park near Everest, it's like a blue truck, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but we always make sure we go there, and we would each have a soft serve waffle cone for $4.99. So the total for that day would be $74.40, so one of the less um, expensive days. So the next day, I'd said that we'd go back to Magic Kingdom and again we'd have some pastries in the morning so the same as the day before $3.99 on a chocolate croissant and then a bagel with cream cheese for $3.49 uh, I've put that we would go to Harbour House I'm not sure if Harbour House is open at the moment I've actually never um, ate in there but it's been highly recommended so I've put that we were to go there and one of us would have the grilled salmon for $13.99 and uh, oh yeah for me I said that I would have a side of mac and cheese for $4.49 the main reason I didn't want a big meal on this day is because we would be going out at the night time um, to the Grand Floridian Cafe uh, but before we do that we would most likely have a Starbucks as well to get one of those drinks again uh, for $4.49 each and like I said for dinner we would head over to Grand Floridian Cafe um, and one of us would have the New York strip steak for $34 um, so obviously if you're having steak and that it's not the cheapest on the menu um, but if it's I know it's probably what one of us will fancy so I thought I'd better be accurate and include it and then the other person would have a buttermilk chicken for $24 um, and then the not refillable drink sorry the fountain drinks were $3.19 there so I just put that one of us would have that and my partner would have that and I would have um, just, some, just some water again um, and the total for that day is $108.13. And the tip for the Grand Floridian Cafe would be $12. The seventh day of the holiday, I put down that we would go to Discovery Cove. So at Discovery Cove, your breakfast and lunch, it's like an all-inclusive day. So um, we wouldn't, you know, use any of our Disney dining credit um, on the morning we'd make sure we got to Discovery Cove early so that we can enjoy the breakfast and the lunch so for this day I've just put down a quick service at Wilderness Lodge for the night time at Roaring Fork I think it's called um, I put that I would have the uh, Western chicken strips for $10.99 and my partner would have the Lumberjack platter for $11.99 Obviously we would have our resort refillable mug so we wouldn't need to get a, a drink at the night time so this is the cheapest day as suspected because we're not actually on Disney property um, that day as we're at Discovery Cove. Uh, this would be $22.98. Now you might be thinking that you've not been to Epcot yet so uh, this day we'll be at Epcot. We'll have a breakfast bar in the room as we would have had quite a full-on day the day before at Discovery Cove with lots of um, food so just a breakfast bar in the room to start the day and um, we then head over to Lotus Blossom um, I think it's Lotus Blossom Cafe and have um, the orange chicken combo each we both really like that so we both have that that's $13.50 each and then we'd get one um, fountain drink for $3.99 and then this is the splurge meal of the trip. We would have never have dined here normally, but because last time we had the dining plan, we really wanted to try it. And it, it was it was a fantastic meal. So I have put down that we would go to California Grill at the night time. So it is a very expensive meal if you have what we've chosen to eat, the oak fired fillet of beef, which is $59 
each so instantly that's an expensive meal and I've also put down that we would most likely have a cocktail which are around $15 each and then the tip for that would at least be $30 so the total for that day would be $208.99 you obviously don't have to go to sit down restaurants when you do go to Disney um, but I wanted to be as honest as possible on on this and what I would actually use the money towards the Disney dining credit uh, and we definitely would go there if we if we could do um, so that's why I've included California Grill as we really enjoyed it so the total for that day is $208.99 so really quite an expensive day if we didn't go to California Grill I'm sure the total price at the end of this video would be you know 100 150 less um, as it's a, it's quite an expensive meal um, but yeah we just really loved it so that's why I've included it on here right we're on the ninth day now of the holiday and um, we would head back to Hollywood Studios uh, we love the rides at Hollywood Studios and when we go to Disney I'd say there and Magic Kingdom are probably the parks we spend the most amount of time in. Um, Epcot's probably the one we spend the least amount of time in at the moment but with all the developments going on there I'm sure that will change in the future. Um, so to start the day we'd have a breakfast bar in the room after that big meal at California Grill the night before. Um, and then I've put that we'd go to Sci-Fi Dine-In in Hollywood Studios at lunchtime. We did that before on our trip in November 2019 and it really filled us for the day. It was a really nice meal. Obviously it's burgers and milkshakes and that but um, really, really nice ones. I've put that we would have, um, both of us would have the classic burger for $19.99 each. Um, I asked my partner what he would want to drink and he said the Oreo milkshake which is $7. And I put that I would have a pina colada of $13 thinking about it I don't know if I would because it's lunchtime and not dinner but I thought I'll put the most expensive price on there and then if it was less on the day then that's um, and the tip for sci-fi dine-in would be around $12 as that would be around 20% then at the night time we would head over to docking bay 7 um, and have some meals there this is probably one of the more expensive quick service um, locations from what I can see probably just because of the um, theming around everything. The food was really nice when we ate there uh, last time. So I would basically have the fried chicken with mac and cheese um, which was $15.49 and my partner would have the beef pot roast which is $18.99 so you know quite a lot really I guess for a quick service meal and I also put on here that we would both have um, a fountain drink so two lots of $3.99 for that. So the total for this day is $114.44. So you can see now it is yeah, past the amount that we would actually actually have, but we'll see in a minute uh, what the total is like. So the second to last day, um, but it would be the last night at the night time, we would have a pool morning and then probably go to Magic Kingdom as we're staying at Wilderness Lodge. It'd be really quick and easy to get over there. I've put down that we would have two chocolate croissants from the quick service in Wilderness Lodge uh, which are $3.99 each. Uh, I've also said that when we'd go into the parks as we'd have had a chilled morning we'd probably get um, a Starbucks, a refresher again of course, uh, which as you probably know by now are $4.49 um, each and we'd also get a muffin each for $3.49 and then I put down for dinner we would go to Casey's Corner of course and have a mac and cheese hot dog each for $11.49. They also come with french fries and we would get one fountain drink for $3.99. So the total for this day would be $50.91. So the total of all those meals for that 10 nights actually equals, including tips, $905.12. Now obviously that's not including tax so I had to go back and add tax onto that and with tax and tips and all the food the total is actually $970.50 for those 10 nights. Now obviously with the dining credit for the 10 nights we only received $680. So what that means is that we've gone over the dining credit which is fine we just have to pay out of pocket and what we would have to pay would be $290.50 so divided between the two of us that's $145.25 extra um, is what we would have to pay for that money basically. Now obviously if we booked this offer we would get $250 
uh, Disney spending money, which as far as I'm aware, you can use in restaurants. So we could use that. And if we did use all of that money towards our food, we would then only have to pay $40.50. That's all we would have to pay. So it depends how you're looking at it, if it's good value. If you're a family of four staying in one room, this dining credit money I can't imagine would get you that far. If you're a couple like myself and my partner going and you want to eat out at some table service restaurants, have some quick service restaurants and possibly have the odd alcoholic drink or dessert at some restaurants as well, then it might be a good deal for you. It's obviously not as good as the dining plan that we got back in 2019 but obviously at the moment um, the dining plan uh, isn't around unfortunately so this is the next best deal. Obviously I could probably make it so that we don't have to pay any extra or use our Disney spending money for $250 but some of the places on there like California Grill, um, where else have we got on there, T-Rex, Sci-Fi Dining, we wouldn't really want to get rid of any of those because we really like them. I might have also overestimated on the amount of quick services we'd have, we might not have one every day if we're not that hungry. Um, but we would see, I wanted to make sure that I put everything down on here so that there weren't any surprises if we were to book this offer and then actually thought, no, we're spending a lot more on, on food than we thought we would with the dining credit. I am aware that some of these might not be open at the moment due to the current situation, but I thought I'd just plan it as how if we were, if we were going to go and all the restaurants were open. Um, for us, I got really excited when I saw the offer um, because there hasn't obviously in a year been any kind of offers because we can't go anywhere. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed planning this out and actually seeing how far this money could get you. Hopefully I've worked out okay with the tax and everything and the tips. Um, I just wanted to see how far the money would get you and how good the offer is. But it gives you an idea of how much uh, dining credit you would get and how, what you would use it on. I found it really useful as actually I think I can get a bit more um, value for, for money in some restaurants than others but then there's ones like I said that we just wouldn't cross off the list um, if we're getting the dining credit. I think if there wasn't the dining credit and we were paying out of pocket I don't think we would go to California Grill because it almost doesn't feel as free as the dining credit would do so um, it's up to you obviously but I hope you found this video useful, I really enjoyed looking at the restaurants and prices of everything and it gives me hope about getting back to Disney in the future. Um, but yeah, definitely do this if you're thinking of booking the dining credit offer um, and see, you know, budget out how much you'll get uh, value for money. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and like I said, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.